In the 2000s, Airbus set out to build a jet that could redefine long-haul travel. The result? The A350, a futuristic widebody instantly recognizable by its black sunglasses mask. But what you don't see are the fascinating quirks hidden behind its sleek carbon fiber skin. How did a plane designed to be Airbus's most advanced airliner end up with features so unusual they almost don't make sense? And why do these strange choices actually make it one of the most successful aircraft flying today? Beneath the elegance lies an airliner full of contradictions, engines sensitive enough that spilled coffee can shut them down, wings that flex like rubber in mid-air, and pilots cruising at nearly the speed of sound while working at fold-out desks. We're about to show you 10 extraordinary secrets of the Airbus A350 that'll transform how you see this legendary aircraft. And trust me, the most surprising one isn't what you think. Number 1. That black mask wrapped around the A350's cockpit? It's not trying to look cool, though it absolutely does. Those curved cockpit windows create a problem nobody anticipated, until jets started flying higher and faster. When sunlight hits curved glass at altitude, it heats unevenly. The result? Thermal stress that can crack windows over time. Enter the mask. Black paint absorbs and distributes heat, protecting those complex windows from temperature extremes. It's literally sunglasses for structural integrity. The perfectly curved shape helps airflow hug the surface, reducing drag. But Airbus engineers discovered bonus benefits. The mask cuts glare inside the cockpit, crucial when you're flying into a sunrise at 38,000 feet. For airlines, it simplifies repainting. No color matching headaches when refreshing the livery. Here's the aerodynamic kicker. The smooth painted surface helps airflow cleanly over the nose, reducing tiny vortices that steal efficiency. At cruising speeds, every bit counts. Boeing considered a similar design for the 787 but decided against it. Too distinctive, they said. Too radical. Airbus, they went for it anyway. Now that mask is the A350 signature instantly recognizable from gate to runway. Sometimes the best engineering solutions are the ones that look like fashion statements. But if you think painted sunglasses are quirky, wait until you hear about the coffee cup crisis. Number 2. Picture this, you're cruising at 37,000 feet when suddenly an engine shuts down. The culprit? A spilled coffee. Welcome to the A350's most embarrassing design flaw. Those cup holders in the cockpit they're sized for tiny European espressos, not the venti-sized beverages US crews drink. In 2019, this oversight turned dangerous. A pilot's tea toppled onto the center console, seeping into electronic controls. One Rolls-Royce engine went dark. It happened again in January 2020 on a Delta flight from Detroit to Seoul. Coffee was spilled onto the instrument cluster. Minutes later, one engine shut down. Both aircraft had to divert, flying on a single engine until they reached the diversion airport, all because the cup holders couldn't handle a proper mug. How does this happen on a $300 million aircraft? Simple, cultural assumptions in design. Airbus engineers, steeped in European cafe culture, built for what they knew. Small, strong shots sipped quickly. They never imagined pilots nursing supersized drinks on long-haul flights. The fix? Airbus declared liquid-free zones around critical controls. Flight manuals got updates, pilots got warnings, the company produced covers for instrument panels and introduced spill procedures. But here's what's fascinating. This isn't really about coffee. It's about how human habits collide with high-tech systems in ways nobody predicts. The A350 can fly over 8,500 nautical miles non-stop, but struggles with a grande cappuccino. What other cultural blind spots hide in our most advanced machines? Number 3. Peek into an A350 cockpit. Notice what's missing. No bulky control yoke hogging the center, just Airbus's signature side sticks, tucked neatly to each side. That empty space, it transforms into something unexpected. A fold-out table that would make any business class passenger jealous. This isn't some afterthought. During those long oceanic crossings, pilots need workspace, charts to review, forms to fill, meals to eat without juggling trays on their laps. The table slides out smoothly, creating a proper desk at 38,000 feet. Flip it over, there's a built-in keyboard for entering flight data. 
No more hunting for hard surfaces or balancing laptops on knees. For pilots logging 15-hour shifts, this innovation changes everything. Two aviators, high above the earth, working at their own private desks, while the autopilot handles the flying. It's an office with the ultimate view. The genius lies in recognizing what crews actually do during cruise. Not just monitor instruments, but manage paperwork, plan ahead, stay comfortable. The Airbus A350 treats pilots like the professionals they are. This philosophy runs throughout the A350's design. This brings us to something that sounds like science fiction. Number 4. Your car can't do this, but the A350 can. Before even touching down, pilots select their runway exit. First turn off for a quick gate or further down to minimize taxi time. The jet's computers take note. Wheels hit concrete. Then something remarkable happens. The A350 takes control automatically applying precise brake pressure to hit that exact exit. Not too early, not too late, perfect every time. For pilots, it eliminates guesswork during one of flight's busiest phases. For controllers, it's traffic management gold. For airlines obsessed with on-time performance, it's a secret weapon. Here's the hidden benefit. Gentle, optimized braking saves money. Less wear on brake pads, fewer tire replacements, over an aircraft's lifetime, those savings add up to millions. At congested airports like Heathrow or LAX, seconds matter. One plane lingering on the runway creates cascading delays. The A350's brake to vacate keeps traffic flowing. Think about it. We've automated parallel parking in cars, but the A350 automates something far more complex. A 280-ton aircraft decelerating from 150 miles per hour to find its perfect exit with hundreds of lives aboard. These invisible efficiencies make modern aviation work. Speaking of invisible, wait until you see what those wings do in flight. Number 5. The first time you see it, you think something is wrong with the Airbus A350. The A350's wings don't just flex, they dance. In turbulence, they can bend several meters up or down, moving with fluid grace that seems impossible for something so massive. This isn't a bug. That's the entire point. Those wings are woven from carbon fiber reinforced plastic, a material that makes aluminum look primitive, incredibly strong yet astonishingly light. Carbon fiber can flex dramatically without fatigue. Where metal would eventually crack, composites just keep bending. Here's why that matters. When turbulence hits, the wings absorb the energy instead of transmitting it to the cabin. Passengers feel less rattling, drinks stay in cups. That nauseating roller coaster sensation? dramatically reduced. The flexibility serves another purpose. As conditions change, the wings subtly adjust their shape, optimizing lift and minimizing drag. It's like having variable geometry without moving parts. From your window seat, it's mesmerizing and slightly unnerving. Watching those wings arc like a bird's, but that's exactly what they're mimicking. Nature solved flexible flight millions of years ago. We're just catching up. Boeing 787 pioneered composite wings, but the Airbus A350 perfected them. Longer, thinner, more elegant. They're not just functional, they're beautiful. And speaking of borrowing from nature, check out what Airbus learned from eagles. Here's a brain bender that'll blow your mind. The Airbus A350 is both the fastest and slowest wide body you'll fly. No, that's not a typo. In cruise, the A350-900T hits Mach 0.85, about 650 miles per hour at altitude. It's faster than both the Boeing 777 and Airbus A330. When you're running late, the A350 can make up time like few others. Now, here's the plot twist. When landing, the A350 transforms into a slow-motion gymnast. Those carbon fiber wings and advanced flaps let it approach at speeds that would stall older jets. We're talking 20 to 30 knots slower than comparable aircraft. Why does this matter? Slower approaches mean access to shorter runways, more airport options, better performance in challenging conditions. For pilots, this speed range is a revelation. Blast across continents near the speed of sound, then float down for a landing like a much smaller aircraft. It's like having your cake and eating it at Mach 0.85. But how is this dual personality even possible? The answer lies in those eagle-inspired wingtips. Number 6. See those upturned wingtips on the A350? They're stealing tricks from birds of prey. 
when eagles soar, their wingtip feathers splay upward, breaking up the spiral vortices that create drag. Less energy wasted fighting the air, more miles per meal. Airbus borrowed this evolutionary hack wholesale. The A350's sharklets curve upward, disrupting those same vortices. The payoff? Better fuel efficiency, hundreds of extra miles of range, millions saved in fuel costs over an aircraft's lifetime. But here's what the numbers don't capture. Those sharklets give the A350 an unmistakable silhouette. Spot one on approach, and you'll know instantly what you're looking at. The engineering goes deeper. At high altitude, where the A350 spends most of its time, those winglets help it climb faster and cruise smoother. Less fuel burn means less CO2. Early winglet designs were vertical. Then, airlines realized angled sharklets work better. Nature had it right all along. From flexible wings to bird-inspired tips, the A350's aerodynamics are a biomimicry masterclass. But raw efficiency means nothing without pushing boundaries. And this jet pushes them further than anyone thought possible. Number 7. Singapore to Newark. 19 hours, 9,500 miles. No stops. Singapore Airlines used to fly this route with the A340-500, but that aircraft could barely make it, requiring perfect weather and minimal payload. Often, they'd have to stop in Frankfurt or refuse baggage to complete the journey. The A350-900ULR didn't just replace that service, it revolutionized it. This isn't about bigger fuel tanks, though the ULR carries 24,000 liters more than the standard model. It's about optimization pushed to the limit, tweaked wing profiles, engines tuned for maximum efficiency, every ounce of unnecessary weight stripped away. The result? Direct flights that actually work reliably. Board in Singapore, land in New York, never see another airport, with payload to spare. For business travelers, it's revolutionary. For airlines, it's finally profitable on premium routes. But consider the human side. Pilots work in shifts, resting in dedicated bunks. Cabin crew rotate through double-length duties. Passengers battle the longest jet lag possible, while the A350's systems fight back. Not every aircraft can do this. Physics and fuel capacity create hard limits. Only a handful of uber-efficient designs even qualify. The A350 owns this space. What fascinates me is how this capability reshapes geography. Cities once impossibly distant became single-hop destinations. The Pacific shrinks, the world gets smaller. The Airbus A340 proved it was possible, but barely. The Airbus A350, that made it practical. The planet has never felt this connected. But how do passengers survive these marathon journeys? The answer lies in the A350's most obsessive feature. Number 8. Step off most long-haul flights and you feel like beef jerky. Dehydrated, exhausted, desperate for moisture, the A350 attacks this problem with engineering obsession. First, cabin altitude. Traditional jets pressurize to 8,000 feet equivalent. The A350, just 6,000 feet. Those 2,000 feet matter more than you'd think. More oxygen reaches your brain, blood circulates better, that fuzzy-headed feeling significantly reduced. Carbon fiber makes this possible. Unlike aluminum, composites handle pressure cycles without fatigue. Airbus pushed the limits, creating a stronger pressure vessel that pampers passengers. Then there's humidity. Most jets run bone dry, below 10% humidity. The A350 offers optional humidification, pushing 20%. Still not tropical, but enough to keep sinuses happier and skin less parched. About those windows, forget Boeing's electronic dimming, the A350 keeps it simple with manual shades. Bigger windows, yes, but you control the darkness instantly. No waiting for electrical systems. Combined, these features create something remarkable. Not quite a spa, but close enough. Passengers arrive feeling more human, less zombie. The irony? Most passengers never realize why they feel better. They just know they do. That's engineering at its finest. Invisible excellence that improves life without announcing itself. Quick question for you. You board an A350 tomorrow, which quirk hits you first? The superhero mask when you spot it on the tarmac? That eerie wing flex during climb out? The cathedral quiet cabin that makes you wonder if the engines are even running? Drop your answer below. I'm genuinely curious what catches your eye first. Because here's the thing, the A350's real innovations, they often hide in plain sight. That coffee cup fiasco, you'd never know it happened. The brake to vacate system, invisible from seat 23A. But the final quirk, 
Airlines absolutely love this one. It's about making the impossible look effortless. Number 9. Here's a secret that airlines love. A330 pilots can fly the A350 after just 8 days training. 8 days. For a brand new wide body packed with bleeding edge tech, that's insane. Boeing pilots switching between types need weeks, sometimes months, but Airbus? They built the A350 to feel familiar from day one. Same side stick philosophy, similar display logic, identical emergency procedures. An A330 pilot sliding into the A350 cockpit experiences deja vu. Everything's exactly where they expect it. For airlines, this is gold. Massive savings on training, flexible crew scheduling. When operations go sideways, weather, mechanicals, whatever, they can tap a much larger pilot pool. There's psychology here too. Pilots facing new aircraft often feel stress. New procedures to memorize, different muscle memory is needed, potential for mistakes. The A350 eliminates that anxiety. It welcomes pilots like an old friend with new tricks. Confidence stays high, errors stay low. Passengers, they never see this quirk, but they benefit enormously. Their pilots are comfortable, competent, and current. No steep learning curves at 38,000 feet. In an industry obsessed with the latest technology, the A350's greatest innovation might be its familiarity. High tech made human, progress without alienation. Number 10. Beyond the physical design, the A350 introduces something straight from Top Gun. The head-up display, or HUD. This pull-down screen sits directly in front of the pilot's eyes, allowing them to see through the window while simultaneously viewing crucial instrument readings like speed, altitude, and direction. This military technology significantly enhances situational awareness, especially during dynamic phases of flight like takeoff and landing. No more looking down at instruments, then back up to see the runway. Everything's right there, overlaid on reality. And it gets smarter once you're on the ground. The A350 features an airport navigation function that pops up a detailed airport map on the primary navigation display the moment you land. This is incredibly helpful for pilots navigating complex airport layouts like Frankfurt or Paris Charles de Gaulle. No more studying paper charts or guessing which taxiway leads where. These integrated systems, they're just another layer of the A350's thoughtful design, making operations smoother, safer, and more efficient. So, what have we learned about the A350? That perfection is overrated. That the world's most advanced airliner succeeds not despite its quirks, but because of them. Those bendy wings that look alarming, they deliver the smoothest ride in the sky. The coffee cup fiasco, it led to a better cockpit design. Even that superhero mask serves hard science alongside style. Every quirk tells a story of engineers who sweated details others ignored, who asked what if instead of why bother, who builds an aircraft that's deeply, refreshingly human. The A350 proves something important. Innovation doesn't mean flawless, it means thoughtful, it means taking risks, even if that risk is trusting pilots with fold-out tables or letting wings flex like palm trees. Here's my challenge to you. Next time you see an A350, look closer. Notice the mask. Watch those wings flex. Appreciate the quiet cabin. Remember that somewhere, a pilot is working at a fold-out desk, while computers gently break the aircraft to the perfect runway exit. It's not just transportation, it's poetry in carbon fiber, engineering that dares to be quirky. And in a world obsessed with perfection, maybe that's exactly what we need. Which A350 feature surprised you the most? Have you flown in one? What did you notice that we missed? Drop your thoughts below. Let's see which quirks resonate with fellow aviation enthusiasts. Want to see more stories from aviation's cutting edge? Hit subscribe and join us for the next deep dive into the machines that defy expectations. Because if the A350 taught us anything, it's that the most interesting aircraft are never the perfect ones.